I am Pastor Sandra Stubbs, and along with co-author Kim McGrew, we are introducing to you our books, Finish Strong, Maintaining the Audacity to Speak Peace in the Midst of the Storm, and also Finish Strong, the Workbook Edition, Declaring the Power and Authority to Succeed. These are two books that you want in your library, two books that challenge you to understand that you are made for more, that give you strategic steps to move forward, that challenge your thought process. Two books you want in your library. Your library. These books can be obtained at www.amazon.com or barnesandnoble.com. You can obtain these two books. Or you can go out to ifinishstrong.net and get these books at our website. In addition to these two books, we've had for years now a internet blog talk radio show where we talk to internet listeners about stepping out of the box of mediocrity and challenge you to go the extra mile in your life and so in addition to all of that we are life coaches and transitional specialists and trans helping people transition from the mediocre to the miracle and we'd like to challenge you to do a little bit better this year 2013 January is your door to the new year is your door to opportunity so in this particular blog I would like to talk to you about one of the steps that we talk about in our book there are 10 steps to finishing strong that we identified for our lives and I'd like to give you one of those steps today that first step I'd like to talk to you about today is staying focused now we realize that in today's society staying focused and on task is quite the challenge we understand that we understand that in this season of life no matter where you are the mind is continuously racing there are many things to be done many to do lists it seems like a never-ending struggle and task sometimes the demands are oftentimes great and the consequences of those demands are even greater and so we realize that life has many distractions and setbacks and situations and circumstances that may cause us rightly so to get out of focus or off track so now in order for you to stay focused and to get back on the right track we encourage you to conquer the fear that's stopping you that would be the first step in staying focused conquer the fear fear masquerades itself in many different facets fear masquerades itself as complacency lackadaisicalness fear also masquerades itself in many falsehoods such as I'm not good enough or I can't do this this is too hard I'm not brave enough I'm not big enough I'm not daring enough there's all this negative self-talk that plays into fear and so we challenge you to conquer the fear in your life wherever that fear is we challenge you to hone it in to harness that fear and to move past whatever that is that stops you strategically it's time to buckle down and examine the goal ahead create a plan of attack even if the plan of attack is to attack sometimes the plan of attack is to just merely go for it go straight into it and don't quit and don't give up sometimes that is the plan of attack and that's most definitely okay and so also in order to finish strong and to stay focused you have to limit yourself of the distractions in your life distractions disattract you from that goal they disattract you from that overall will that God has in your life some of those distractions in our life may appear to be um, let's say the crackberry let's say the cell phone let's say uh, emails that constantly blink and constantly beep at you all day long uh, let's say the phone that's ringing on your desk uh, constant distractions sometimes you may need to shut those things down for a few minutes a day a few hours a day just so you can focus in on the task at hand and for my students that are going back to school this semester Facebook 
is a huge time consuming thing. It can be a huge uh, promotional deal as far as getting the word out there and sh sharing information with friends, getting to know new people, but it can be a huge time waster if you're not counting the minutes that you're out there online. And so my encouragement for the student that's out there and you're trying to hone in, you've got a few more days before you go back to school and you're a huge Facebook user, my encouragement for you during this season is possibly put your face in a book and make this season work for you on a different level. It's time to reach for something greater and move into a greater dynamic. And that's what we're after when we talk about staying focused. Limiting every distraction that distracts you from the overall goal. Limiting those distractions, it also requires you, my friend, taking care of yourself health-wise, feeding yourself nutritious things that help you think better, adding flaxseed and adding brain stimulators, adding foods that stimulate the brain and stimulate the body and help you feel healthy and wealthy. I'll tell you, there's nothing worse than having a huge project on your desk to do and getting the wrong thing to eat and now you're having a little tummy ache and stomach issues and a headache because you have not eaten all day long. Take care of yourself. Get the proper exercise that you need on a daily basis. 10 to 15 minutes, get up in the morning, get the heart racing, get the blood pumping through your body so that you can focus in on the thing that you need to focus on for, for the day. And lastly, I like to post um, in I view encouraging words, things that I can read that motivate me, inspire me to move forward, that encourage me, that one step at a time I'm, a, I'm a, uh, moving toward a greater goal. And so some of those things that I like to post around me, they say things like a slow and steady wins the race. That helps me to see that you might be doing some things slowly right now, but it's going to win you that overall goal. You're methodic. You're thinking things over. You're making careful sure that you're doing things right the first time so that you don't have to redo it later. And so that just gives me certainty that I'm on the right path. I love this quote by Goethe that says, things that matter most must never be at the mercy of things that matter least and it helps to reassure me that I'm putting the main thing as the main thing and so things that matter the most are in their respective places and I'm doing the thing that matters the most and I'm not putting out small fires all the time instead of reaching for that big extinguisher and just getting rid of it all. And so there's different things that I like to put in place in order to stay focused on that main thing. And so this is your first step to finishing strong. There's 10 steps to this series. Check out our webpage as we post the different steps to finishing strong. And as you move toward a greater goal in your life, in your life our webpage is www.ifinishstrong.net. Until then, know that you were made for more and that you can finish strong. The choice is always yours.